Hi everybody, it's me, Legardo Laxon, also known as Chino and Artie. Uh, shout outs to my friend Dean Harris, Mr. Tuco, uh, Gabriel, who loves Mortal Kombat a lot, uh, what else, uh, River White, uh, to, my, to the band I'm in, uh, who I'm a mascot to, the Tower Guards, check them out, okay, the Tower Guard band, uh, the, we're a Riverside local band, so you might see me perform too with them, but uh, yeah, I haven't done a video for a long time because uh, my ratings went low and also I've been focusing talking to viewers on Facebook most of the time and to my buddy in Indonesia Mr. Fix Him Up on uh, playing old school Windows games on today's platform keep up the great work alright and I like your PC setup and your gaming setup in Indonesia alright and I'm happy for your family and now I'm doing this review because uh, I haven't done reviews for a while and let's talk about this now I cannot wait for the brand new P, uh, PlayStation Mini. Uh, since the new Super Nintendo Mini and the uh, Nintendo Mini came out, uh, people are actually hacking it to play games and this and stuff. And you know what? You know, like playing actually N64 games or even 32X games. I was surprised you could play 32X games on that Super Nintendo. But uh, th that unit costs like $59 or $69 or even those scalpers in the internet, they sell them twice the price. But me, I came across this. Okay, people already had sla uh, slandered this product. It's called the Game Box, uh, Gem Box. And uh, when I bought this, this unit was only twenty bucks in DDs. DDs is like a, a, a third party of Ross. Okay, but they're the same owners. But this is amazing. It was only twenty dollars. All right. Uh, the control. Uh, what it came with uh, when I unbox. I already unboxed it and set it up. Okay, uh, it's right here, all set up. As you can see, it came with the unit, controller, a USB connector to charge the controller. It comes with an Ethernet port, plus, uh, uh, I mean an Ethernet cable. It comes with an HDMI cable, everything you need, including um, an international, uh, you can plug it in uh, Europe, Hong Kong, you know, the Chinese ones, and US uh, plugs. And uh, the only thing was, I was wondering why this part was, you know, they had, there was like a very thick white sticker to block this. Gamefly streaming. Gamefly streaming was actually just like on live, but uh, it's this. I don't know if they're still around. I checked their website. Uh, it supports on the newer console, but it doesn't support this unit anymore. I don't think so because I tried it. It didn't work. I mean, I wanted to see how the quality works on that because I used to have an on live uh, unit, but I never reviewed it because I got it for only twenty dollars. And it has it on multiple language. They even have extra accessories like um, uh, what do you call it? That remote uh, and air mouse and extra controllers and I'm gonna tell you something this unit is so small look how big this is okay my hand I mean um, uh, this is actually by size it's only about probably like four and a half in or inches or even three inches I mean the, the controller is bigger than the unit I have it connected on a LAN and also Wi-Fi just in, in case uh, the LAN just uh, disconnected and it's plugged through HDMI only yes and uh, this is the controller um, you just press the the home key and it goes to one. It goes up to four player support, and this is the menu. Okay, let's explain about it. All right. Um, you got your applications. The applications is great because you can actually have an auto app installer. If you have an SD card, it will detect any APK files. But remember, it's gonna set it's gonna send you to the settings so you can install unknown uh, APK. So that's a gamble right there. But at least be aware of what you're gonna install. It has a file browser so you can copy anything you need, like videos, etc. Because it has a oh yeah, I'm gonna explain the plugs on here. It comes with one USB output, which you can expand with uh you know those uh what do you call it? USB expanders. It's a USB 2.0. It has a micro SD that supports up to probably 128. Uh, LAN cable, uh, power out, uh, power uh, um connection and uh, HDMI and there's the power button I don't know what's up with that red dot but I think that's just part of that logo for MTech alright uh, right there because uh, it has it on the controller right here there's no light no feature or nothing like that the controller is shaped just almost like an Xbox controller but a little more slimmer it has a nice fine blue grip on the side the only layout that was different is that they put the analog reverse the digital is on top, so it's more like a, a hybrid PlayStation uh, Xbox controller, that's what I could say. And I actually tried my Xbox One controller, my cheap one, and plugged it on the USB. It actually detects it on, on the unit because this is running on Android, uh, I believe. Uh, let's find out. Uh, 
the menu is very easy to use okay you go to my G uh, gem box and then you go to settings and then you can find which I, I, let me let me check what it has okay see it looks like a default uh, let's see uh, about game box okay uh, the kernel okay it has Android 4.4.2 and the model number is a gem box F 500 okay and let me go back to the main menu this is actually the main interface it does not look like a OUYA there is no OUYA app store here you got the you also have parental control if you want to but I don't want to uh, let me go back as you can see you have the Play Store now to navigate on the Play Store you can actually just uh, move uh, to the search and then when you press the A button you can actually just con uh, change and then you see the button layout right there that's how you can uh, input the letters and then when you press uh, the trigger L1 it will change into um, you know exclamation mark and numbers so you're able to type what you want now you can even connect a keyboard and mouse in there if you want to and uh, let me see let me go back uh, and the bottom part of the controller it reminds me of the Mad Cats controller uh, which I made a review already on my setup before if you look it up uh, on my channel you can go in gamepad mode and mouse mode so you can actually just move it around so you're gonna be doing this a lot on certain things but if you're just gonna go gamepad mode I recommend just going to uh, let's see when you go to games uh, don't go to gamefly because when you go to gamefly it's just gonna lock up it doesn't work now game stream uh, well I have an AMD setup so I'm sorry I cannot use this demonstration this is just like the same thing you'll get from a uh, NVIDIA Shield so you can stream your games that are NVIDIA compatible on the NVIDIA Experience 3D. Then uh, Retro Gaming, I can't believe they actually provide a trial version of Classic Boy and Retro Lite. But no, I got a purchase product vers a version of it in my uh, account of my already. Now if um, Game Stream, oh you yeah, already talked about. Now going to the Gem Store, uh, it's actually a, a proprietary type of um, it's actually cool. Check it out. They actually have games there that's already, uh, you can choose which ones are gamepad compatible. And especially Air Attack is amazing. It shows the main power of this unit. Uh, what else? Now, remember I said I cannot wait for that brand new PlayStation game uh, console, the Mini? So I'm going to go to my games and, um, okay, actually, I accidentally installed the app. Okay, I am going to put that on the A. Because if you install a game, you can actually choose it, put it on games or the app mode. I feel like to touch this, but it won't. It already comes with four games, okay? The four games it comes with is two racing games, Asphalt 8 and uh, GT Racing 2. And for the kids, it does have, uh, what do you call it, Wonder Zoo and uh, My Pretty Pony, which you cannot uninstall. And it does come with the game fly again, which is useless. I don't know if I can do it. Nope. See, when I go over here... I can actually uh, uninstall, delete it by pressing Y, but I can't. Those are actually built into the BIOS. So now I actually purchased this app. I do have uh, certain games, so I'm gonna run this in its native uh, resolution of the original way how a PlayStation look. I didn't do the enhanced thing, and there's a reason why. This uh, unit is uh, the 3D acceleration is really bad. So uh, it's searching my game. I only I only have uh, Tekken. Uh, what do you call it? Tekken um, uh, 3. I could put more ROMs, but I like to put Android games because if I'm going to play PlayStation emulation, I'm just going to do it on my computer. But uh, it actually works. Look at this. In its native resolution, exactly how it plays. It runs perfect, 100%. Full speed, too. Check it out. Full speed. And it's stereo. Uh, let me lower it down a little bit. Yeah. It's too loud. And this is coming from this little box. Round one. Fight. Uh, it's hard to play with one hand. Uh, the only problem about this emulation with this controller, I'm going to explain one thing. Uh, hold on. Let me kick Yoshi Misha's ass. Come on. Kick my. Oh, you sitting down? Let me lay low. Lay low. Ah, oh, he got me. All right. Now, in order for me to quit, I have to go to mouse mode. 
move the mouse in the bottom and press the clicker on the A and then scroll it up. Come on, pop up. Will it pop up? Oh man, hold on. Oh, there we go. So now I'm able to go back. Oh shoot. To get that menu. Now I can actually use the controller right here and just quit the game. Oh shoot. I keep dying. Let me just go to the. Okay. Yes, quit the game. And it runs perfect, as you can see, it can run every ROM, no problem at all. So, uh, since I already had purchased uh, Super Retro on my account, I'm not going to use that light. Uh, I haven't even really set this up yet, but I had already put all the ROMs that I needed in here. But, oh shoot, I got the ROM, let me go back to home. Okay, go back to games. Oh, man, oh, it's in mouse mode. Oh, you got to be careful. When you have it in mouse mode, wherever the mouse cursor is and you went back to gamepad and press A, you know what happens? You're going to click there. Okay, let's go to Super Retro. All right, let's load some Super Nintendo. Okay, now setting it up just like uh, the, what do you call it? How it is with the Super Nintendo Classic to have the same effect. I do have to download uh, some um, rendering. I'm using the OpenGL because this unit is not like an it's not like the Ouya or the the Mojo console for Mad Cats. It's actually um, running on system uh, memory, I believe, or the processor. It's, it doesn't have a Nvidia. I believe it's called the Nvidia Tegra. No, it doesn't. And then screen size, I gotta go right here, and I want to put in its original. Oh wait, error. Uh, okay, all right. Let me go back and let me go back to game ma game pad mode. Uh, yeah, I gotta keep switching back and forth. But uh, I'm going to look how many games I had put in here already. The unit itself has a built-in, I believe, uh, 16 gigabytes. Uh, let's let's play some Donkey. No, not Donkey Kong. Let's put some good. Test a little bit of the max out of a unit. Uh, Super Mario Brothers, uh, Yoshi's, or whatever. Uh, there's also uh, Street Fighter 2 Alpha, Alpha 2, Mega Man X. You know, Mega Man X has a certain chip. So let's try uh, Mega Man X uh, 3. Uh, it works. And the resolution, there's no scan line. You'll get the exact resolution how you're supposed to play it. I didn't want to do a stretch because back then we have a 4.3 aspect ratio. So I'm playing it that way. That's how I remember playing this game. And... The weird part is the start button, you have to press the middle uh, analog start button. See, watch this, see? <laughs> now, this is X3. The music soundtrack is different big time from uh, the PlayStation. Now, when you have the Mega Man X Legacy, I do have it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to warn you, they just gave you the emulation version of this. They didn't give you the PlayStation version. It has full motion video. You're going to be playing this version. And the graphics are more bigger. It's not zoomed in. This is actually how it's supposed to be played. So if I had a CRT monitor and convert the HDMI on this, it feels like a real Super Nintendo. As you can see, I was playing uh, Tekken. It works great. I remember that soundtrack. And it's running full speed. There's no lag. I don't know how it is when I'm recording it because I'm using a, a Samsung Galaxy 3 camera uh, phone that I haven't used for a while. Um, but as you can hear, it, it's really... But look at the aspect, see, from the television. That's a 4.3 aspect out of my 16. So now going back to the menu, I just press the home screen and ta-da. Now if I go back to the mouse mode, let me see if there's anything behind it uh, underneath. No, I can't do it, but I just have to tell you, um, let me go back on gamepad mode, there we go. Uh, gamepad mode, I do have the Google Play Store, 
You also have the Google collection, play your music, your games, and etc. The menus is a plain version looking like a PlayStation kind of thing. You know, that blue effect. It's really nice. And then watching movies, uh, of course, people like to get movies for free. And I got to say, uh, I, I, you know, I, I got to watch movies, you know. I'm, I mean, they have this movie. Oh, where, where is it? Okay, my, my games is my app store. And I'm going to explain, uh, I have Popcorn Time. And Popcorn Time, this is a purchase version too. So, um, let's see. You can actually pick a movie you want and it's going to work. For example, Deadpool 2. Anything that, one thing I like about Popcorn Time is that anything that's not filmed in a theater, it will play it in the highest quality you'll get. Uh, Deadpool 2. I actually recommend you guys watching the, the director's cut, the super duper cut. Uh, there was an acoustic version of Ashes, uh, the one that Celine Dion actually uh, performed. Uh, I love that song. Uh, Celine Dion is the mom, you know. She always goes up to 11 past that 10, right? And when I'm loading the movie, you'll get this little ticker ticker right there because what it's trying to do is trying to, it's hiding the VPN. Then you just have to wait about three minutes max, and then it's gonna buffer, and then it's gonna play without any lag because I'm it's plugged on the LAN connection. And it also has uh, the Netflix or the Red, Red, uh, Red uh, what's that called? YouTube Red. Uh, all the videos. You guys got to check out Popcorn Time. They have it for Windows. They have it for Android, Linux. Android, I'm sorry. I mean, uh, I mean iOS, I'm sorry. You do have to jailbreak your product. And I don't recommend jailbreaking your product. So always recommend yourself on something that doesn't restrict you. All right? So, uh... Yeah, and this is my current setup right now because I'm using three screens for now because I used to have about five, but I'm eating a lot of electricity and the room was getting really hot. So, yeah, check it out. Uh, I know this video is long. Um, I, I thank Dean Harris because he likes to hear me because, hey, Dean, uh, I, I know you're performing a lot of great Bon Jovi songs, man, and please do the Robocop uh, 3 or try to do uh, uh, Thunder Force for some, I mean, you do great on the guitar, man. And dude, you got buff. You saw my Facebook, man. I got buff too. So, uh, as you can see, the video quality is high. Now, to remove the subtitles, you gotta go right here, and you could, and then you have to scroll all the way up, all the way up. Wait, wait. Why is it not? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, it's English subtitle. And then I got to go all the way up until it says without subtitle. And then I go to play. Because if you press B, you're going to start the mover, movie over again. So you don't want that to happen. The quality is great. The only thing is it's 720p. But it seems like it's already being upscaled through my television. And I'm using an Insignia television. A cheap television. That's what I use as a computer monitor. <laughs> So I'm able to play my Xbox 360, my Xbox One, or my, um, I don't have a PS4 yet because I'm not a really big fan of uh, PS4. But as you can see, those are clips. Okay, I, I know uh, there's copy protections that I'm not allowed to talk about, but I do have the Blu-ray edition because I am a big Deadpool fan. And, uh, okay, let's talk about Asphalt 8 real quick because I'm almost in that 20 minute mark. It's checking a new version. All right, let me uh, pause it for a minute because it's going to download about 17 meg... Uh, that, how many megabytes? And you're going to see the true acceleration on this unit. Uh, it's not good. Trust me. Uh, I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to load it. Come on, load. Okay. Anything from Gameloft? Uh, well, if it's a Unity game, it will run great, but Gameloft, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to pause it right here, and then I'm going to play it. And for you people out there, you guys are wondering, why am I using an old-school IBM keyboard? I'm keeping it retro because it is fun. The new keyboards, they're like really silent. You want to feel the, you know, the click, 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 click. That's why I have this IBM keyboard. And also, uh, it came from an IBM app, Optiva which I still have because it is my Windows 98 computer so I went a little bit off topic look how fast this thing is downloading alright oh, I gotta wait for this to be downloading almost uh, eh. do not turn off your device while this is in progress but they're gonna give me a small little hatchback car I don't know if this is the full version alright because look at look at this I gotta wait until this red goes all the way here 
So uh, it, it said that it comes with Asphalt 8, GT uh, Racing 2, but I'm going to see if it's the real deal because basically they gave me a demo and they just embedded it on the memory. I think that's a waste of memory. Oh my god. And from the box cover, I'm going to explain about the box. It shows Kung Fu Panda. Let's focus it. There's Kung Fu Panda. All right. And a little bit of Blaze Blue. And uh, I don't know what kind of racing game it is. And then there's a soccer game. And then there's these icons that you see from the Google Play Store, which don't match the game. And it shows a nice looking uh, side box right here. I mean, it's, 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 it's nice how it was packaged. And I kid you not, uh, uh, we found this in DD's for only $19.99. A whole world of entertainment in a tiny box and this box is actually powered by Gigabyte Pro and that's actually I, I love that company Gigabyte Pro you can do a Hackintosh and uh, that's actually my motherboard uh, the motherboard I'm using right now uh, it's, it's like one of those first generation Ryzen processors it's called an A10 um, this is my motherboard all right I had to update its uh, uh, CMOS in order for me to use the A10 7860 and I'm pushing on, um, on uh, what do you call it, R7370. Actually, that card is still up to date. You can play your games on 1080p and high. Just giving you guys a tip. That's one of the best cards out there for a low price. Now, if you're going to buy it, buy for gaming. Please don't mine on it. Because if you're mining on it, I don't know. And talk about retro, man. I got one of those old school digital cameras, man. When I say old school... Because I'm talking about this right now. Because look how long this is. I have to wait for just to play asphalt. They say it's already in. It was nothing but an icon. So I think I, they wasted a few kilobytes just to put a link on it. Look at this camera. Look at this. This is actually old school. Look at that. And you got to see the memory card on this. This is not an SD card or compact flash. Uh, I bet LJR already explained this because he actually had the world's smallest um, digital camera in the past. What kind of memory card is this? Wow, 8 megabytes. It's so thin. Yeah. Look at that. It looks like a thin, I don't know, it looks like a SIM card from the, the thickness. Because uh, SD cards, this is an SD card, okay? This is a 128 megabyte, oh, 128 gigabyte. Yes, no joke. 128 gigabyte sand disk, all right? Yeah, that's a 128 gigabyte. So you see the GB? Yeah, I keep all my stuff right here. And uh, as you can see, it's still loading. I think I had enough talking about this uh, M-Tech, uh, what do you call it, uh, Android box. So just look at this unit as a little bit of a gaming bonus because uh, you're only going to get the, the, the Play Store from this. This is the place, basically you're just going to get the Play Store. And yeah, it comes with a, a remote control. You can plug a mouse. I can't believe it doesn't come with a remote control because that's an accessory. And I saw how much the remote costs online. It costs twenty-six dollars. The remote control costs more than the console with a controller itself. The controller itself costs thirty-six ninety-nine. And when it gets detected through the Android system, it looks at it as a HID. Uh, yeah, HID uh, Nyko controller. So basically, the setup presets on this are from the Nyko. So look it up about Nyko. Uh, it's not the iPega or the Moga, Mo, Mogo, uh, Moga controller. There's also the, the Ouya controller setups because uh, all, all open source software that I like about um, Android. Android has always been open source and I give it props. And this is the best play. Uh, the reason why I made this video is that it's a low price. Uh, $19.99. You can play your Super Nintendo your PlayStation 1 and add more emulation and see if you can experiment it because uh, it's going to make you more smarter of how to install APK files through this thing called the Gembox. M-Tech Gembox. Uh, so uh, look at, uh, uh, see if you can find it at the local DD's. Uh, it's called DD's. DD and with a little S in the bottom. It's a pink uh, logo. So uh, uh, let me show you how it looks like real quick. Uh, I'm from Southern California. And um, I, live in, I live in Marina Valley, Riverside, all right? So, D, D's store. And I got, and I believe it's right here. Uh, this is how the short store looks like. Let's see if we got pictures of it. Uh, images, images. Let's see how their logo looks like. Yeah, right here. This is how that place looks like. Like that. Uh, yeah. They sell clothes mostly, but they do have an electronic section. Uh, I even bought my antenna there. Um, my antenna only cost me 
three dollars and I got 165 channels off the air high definition without a receiver just going plug in into my uh, see I'm just I just plug it straight to my coaxial cable I'm um, this is all antenna as you can see it says antenna wait that's uh, let's go HD mode okay she says she was that's high definition television back Sherry NBC Dollar amount on 1080p. Uh, it's actually uh, off air broadcast, uh, it's always been 1080i, but it's so beautiful. You know, see, there's the antenna, there's the amplifier to it, and the antenna I have is like a little bar and it's sticking outside of my window. So, back to uh, my HDMI one is for my Xbox, HDMI two is for my PC. Uh, as you can see, that's the store. I, my mom likes shopping there. And next to it is next to Dollar Tree, so I can get my snacks or get a soda for cheap, Shasta or Pepsi. And look at my setup right here, see? And yes, I love Ghost in the Shell. Uh, if you actually see how I dress, uh, I actually dress, uh, what's that called? Um, uh, industrial, or they call it cyberpunk. I've been dressed like that for already so far years. Uh, I think River White, you know, who actually mentioned it to me, say, hey, Artie or Legardo, uh, like, like my friend Gabriel, he actually says, hey, you look like you're cyberpunk. And, and they're wondering about my diet. And they're saying, how the hell you, um, you don't work out, but you are actually defying body or whatever, you know, saying that I look buff. I swear to God, I don't really, I don't work out, you know. Um, I just, I just mostly sit down at the computer, but I do work in an industrial place. I have it on my YouTube channel. Uh, I work as a metal fabricator, crane operating, and forklifting, and all that. But you don't really see me lifting. The only thing I lift was the crane. Uh, this is my Facebook, guys. Uh, add me as a friend, okay? Uh, so you guys get to know me. My name is Ledgardo Laxon, also known as Chino and Artie. Yeah, right there, you're going to see my default picture looking like this. Yes, I have a dance floor in my second floor of the house I live in. Yeah, with mirrors for me to do martial arts. And yes, that's how big my arms are. That's not Photoshop. All right, and I would like to shout out to my friend Dean Harris. All right, thank you for the games that you have uh, endorsed me. I'd like to say shout outs to my friend Aaron Alanis, the lead singer of the band I'm in. It's called the Tower Guards in Riverside, the Tower Guards band. We sing, uh, well, he sings, the, he's the lead singer for... Uh, music of Dungeons and Dragons, uh, medieval music, you know, heavy metal. And I would like to say to Gabriel, Gabriel, I say, what's up, Mortal Kombat, you know, you like Luke Kang, but I'm a Johnny Cage fan, okay? And Hollywood, California, yay! Uh, and I also want to say what's up to Sapano Van, uh, he's actually a film enthusiast. Uh, I got more shout outs out there. River White, uh, thank you for your support. Uh, happy early birthday, October 16th. Hey, man, uh, I say you look just like that one guy I told you, man. You look. I'm, uh, I don't know if I should say it in YouTube. I like to say to my friend uh, Alex R. Gonzalez, uh, a leukemia survivor. I thank you so much. Uh, I like to say uh, what else? I got I got more shout outs here. You know, I'm ch I'm chatting with my friends at Facebook. All the people who said hello and added me on Facebook uh, because they met me through YouTube. I thank you for your support and viewing my channel. And uh, I hope that uh, I have new viewers, okay? Because the gem box right here is I hope I get a good, great, um, you know, review about it. So if I got a good tagline, hey, you know. And also I have a new friend, okay? Hey, uh, Gabriel Esparza, I hope you knew uh, a guy named Stan Smith. He's actually more of a Street Fighter fan. Me, I'm a big fan of anything uh, that's uh, cyberpunk, fighting games, you know, like that. And, you know, I, I never show gameplay of how I play. Because uh, I like to, uh, if you really want to see how good I am on games, you will see. I mean, I stand on fire. Yep, like that. Like, I'm beyond Dante. Uh, just showing off uh, my YouTube channel, I mean, my Facebook channel. To add me on Facebook, I'll put the link on my description. It's uh, facebook.com uh, backslash RoboArty, just like my channel, youtube.com backslash RoboArty. I still have my MySpace. MySpace.com backslash RoboArty. Uh, I communicate with my friends in Mexico. Yeah, say habla español or also Filipino. Puede uh, What do you call it? I speak Portuguese, but my Portuguese is from Brazil. Kama basita, todo mi amigo, And uh, I would like to say uh, to my uh, Chinese friends from uh, Hong Kong, um, I would like to say ni hao, eh, tuatse, tuatse, you know. 
And, um, yeah. But uh, thank you guys for watching. And I hope I'll make more videos because I'm planning to retire my channel probably uh, around the mid of 2019. I'm sorry. Uh, I really, really want to try to find new subjects. Uh, while my friends on Facebook are giving me advice, hey, do it this way or something, um, if I have the product. Uh, the next thing I might do is action figures because I already done my collection or movies. Movies, somebody already did that. I was the one doing unboxing. LJR does a better job. I give props to LJR. Uh, also, uh, another shout out to, um, to Rose. Okay, uh, pushing up roses. You do, you know how to pick a game right, all right? Like, are you afraid of the dark? I love that game. I'm probably gonna be doing action figures for now uh, for my next future, um, you know, subjects like uh, where to shop. You see this Dark Vader? There's also Donnie Yen right here, who's um, from the Rogue One. You know how much I got this for? 99 cents at the 99 cent store. Yes, no joke. Starship Trooper Trilogy, 99 cents at the Dollar Tree. All right, and um, well, I, I found this uh, Mortal Kombat Complete Edition at a Goodwill. Kid you not, five dollars. All right, uh, same thing with this one. I got this at GameStop. Uh, this one I found in a, in a Goodwill, and this one had the game in it. And it works. I already have it for the PC, but how can I say no for a nice box art? And I think the homeless man who gave me this Xbox 360 black. Uh, it has a messed up USB port here, but the other one works. But he gave it to me for one thing, a beer. I said, do you want anything else? No, just take it because it didn't have a hard drive, no controller, no cables. But he gave it to me for free, and it works great. And God bless that man, you know. And um, yes, uh, I thank you guys for watching. And also, wait a minute, um, for Classic Game Room, I want to tell you guys, I got two physical copies of a game that you guys got to believe. I have it in great condition, the American version. I actually have Gary's. I don't like the American cover, I like the Japanese one, but this is one of the best shoot 'em ups. I do have Thunder Force 4, I gotta look for it. Thunder Force 4 is not released like that over here in America, it was actually called Lightning Force. Um, I do have Thunder Force 2, yeah. And I do have Part 3, I used to, I already sold it. I sold it for only 15 bucks to GameStop, so there's only one copy in GameStop.com. That copy belongs to me because you're going to see inside the cartridge, you're going to see a picture of me holding that. So if you come across a, a Thunder Force 3 in uh, GameStop.com, there's going to be a picture of me inside the cartridge that I inserted there. All right, And it's in good condition, and I wish you luck. Please take care of that cartridge because uh, I had to clean it because I did wet it. And then look, it's, it's running great. So, uh, and for every Punisher fan there, yes, shout out to every Punisher fan there. I got the pop-up, headphones, I got the shirt, okay, he appeared in the Spider-Man comic book from uh, that one issue where he was teamed up with the Jackal. I got the original Iron Man toy, like, oh, not really, but, uh, oh, uh, thank you, Grandpa, for giving me the Amazing Fantasy. Uh, you probably know this issue anyway, that's why Spider-Man's right there, and... I'm a big Power Ranger fan, but when I was growing up in uh, the Philippines, I used to call them uh, 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 Daru Sentai 